we were at at school. We, what did we want to be when we were growing up? And everybody come out with uh, short, short jobs. And me, I wanted to take out of all or those that wanted to go to sea went to sea. I asked my father if, if he would teach me to row. So he took me down a couple of times and showed me the motions with a pole of paddles together, you know. A couple of days later, I again asked if he'd take me out in the dinghy. And uh, he took me down, put me aboard and just pushed the dinghy out. He said, yeah, I'll carry on. <laughs> Must have been uh, seven or eight. Very far that was. I got down as far as Cove's Corner before I could get the motion, the proper motion. She was specially built here in Sogum for, for my father. And they had trouble getting her out of the store because <laughs> the boat builder made her a little bit wider than the actual doors out to the slipway. So they had to put the boat up on each side to get out. I used to clear the pots and uh, rebate. Uncle used to take the pot off of me and stack it across on the port side of the boat because he used to have strings of 20, 25 pots, you know, tied together. And then when the th all had been baited, and stacked, it was time to throw him back over the boat over the other side again. I suppose he must have stood out there up till somewhere about 1964, because then he decided then that he would uh, go a bit bigger and he would have another boat built locally in Sogum. So he ended up having a 36 footer built at Sogum Yacht, a marine in Island Street, Togham Lass, that's E74, which is still going today. I decided that I would pack up fishing for somebody, but I would do it on my own terms one time and I would get a boat that had a forward wheelies. Yeah, that's what I did then. It's been 1980-something. Um, I used to stick more or less around the shore. I never used to go off deep, like the other bigger boats. Just around the shore, I used to catch uh, lobsters and whatever went in the pot. But on the the end, I was paying out more for bait and diesel than I was actually making sort of a catch. I used to make more uh, scalloping in the harbour with her. Me and, me and a mate of mine, a builder friend of mine, used to go out on the uh, half tide and fish three hours down and three hours up the flood out here in the harbour and uh, catch what scallops we could. I know our most on one day was 23 dozen. I never sold any in bulk, but all mine went to local people. See them in the street, would you like a dozen scallops? How much? Five pound a dozen. I'll take a couple of dozen. Can you cut them out for me? If I couldn't go to sea, I used to go up the river and pick winkles. I'd pick winkles where the tide was out, store them under the quay in um, potato sacks, and then at the end of the week when the lorry came down from up country, or London Billingsgate, we used to load them on there, and he uh, would take them up to Billingsgate Market and sell them for us. <laughs>